This is the 2021 Mercedes-Benz E350. It's received cosmetic surgery in the front, in the back, and looks like it's gone to the gym with this slim and sleeker design. Woo! But more than that, the E-Class encapsulates the same, if not better, technology, performance, and materials. And what I mean by that is that it has the latest MBUX infotainment system, it has an all new modern steering wheel with a bunch of fancy buttons and Mercedes enhances their driver assistance technology. The base price for this 2021 Mercedes-Benz E350 is $54,250, but it's fully loaded just the way I like it. It comes in at $61,845.63. I'm going to go through all the options and features of the car to start it up and take it for a spin. So follow me and check it out. This review would have been possible if it wasn't for Mercedes-Benz of Los Angeles and Rafael Gonzalez. They have a wide variety of sedans, G-Wagons, SUVs, SUV coupes, and AMGs. Check out the website, go down there, call Rafael and make an appointment with him. He'll work with you and help you get into a vehicle you're looking for. Here are a few words from Rafael. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Rafael Gonzalez here at Mercedes-Benz of Los Angeles in downtown LA, sunny Southern California. Please, if you like today's video, give it a big old thumbs up. If you want to like, comment, share, subscribe, do all of that fun stuff. Show some support for Randy's reviews and look forward to more reviews he's going to be doing on some of our vehicles here in the near future. And I do speak Spanish for those of you that speak Spanish. También hablo español. So don't forget the name. If you want to work with me, my information and the links will be in the description below. Please check it out. Don't forget the name, all right? Rafael G, making it easy. Peace. This E350 comes standard with a 2.0 liter four cylinder turbo engine. It pushes out 255 horsepower and 273 pound feet of torque. All that power goes to the rear wheel through a nine speed G Tronic transmission that's made and designed by Mercedes Benz in Germany, which is really important. The zero to 60 time is 6.1 seconds. Miles per gallon is 22 in the city and 31 on the highway. The fresh new look extensively refines the iconic E-Class from every angle. The redesigned LED headlamps, chrome diamond grille that's typically found on Mercedes-Benz's higher trim levels as well as this AMG hood is now on the E350 at no extra cost. The rear is dramatically reshaped as well with this new horizontally LED tail lamp unit as well as their newly designed trunk lid, adding sporty elegance. These 18 inch AMG wheels come at no charge. You just have to get the AMG line option package for $700. That's really inexpensive considering these wheels are about $2,000 if you buy it after you buy the car. This $400 night package includes black window seals, black rear diffuser, black side mirrors, and a black front splitter. By the way, the little spoiler on the trunk is $350, but the chrome exhaust tips come at no charge. Let's see how many Randys fit in here. The opening is low and wide, as wide enough as it can be without ruining the design. It's gonna be easy to load things in and out, but the bumper is not protected, so you're gonna have to put some plastic film here to help protect it. Let's see if I fit. See ya. Whoa, whoa, ow. About one Randy fits in here perfectly. To open the trunk, just pull the handle underneath the emblem. What you see here is 13.1 cubic feet. 
There is a lot of depth in the trunk for large items. Nevertheless, it's in line with the BMW 5 Series and the Audi A6. You get a ring to hook your cargo net and a Mercedes-Benz cargo net, some storage space and a Mercedes-Benz first aid kit. Inside these hidden compartments are fuses. You get a hook for your bags, lift up the cover and you get a cart to hold your grocery bags and underneath that you get more storage space. It comes with these Mercedes-Benz floor mats. To get even more space, just pull these handles. Then go around and pull the seats down. They're really easy to pull down. This is 35 cubic feet of space, enough to hold a small refrigerator. And since the opening is wide, possibly a 60 to 65 inch TV. Mercedes-Benz puts a lot of workmanship into the front and back doors. They line the doors with a combination of ash wood, aluminum, white stitching, and a Burmeister speaker. Your guests will be impressed when they step into the back seat. The stitching design forms to the body and slightly bolstered in all the right places. White stitchings are on the edges of the seat, adding some color and contour. There's some storage behind the seats, a couple of vents, ashtray, and a 12 volt outlet. Let's see how easy it is to get inside and how comfortable it is once I get in there. I'm gonna sit behind myself. Now it's really easy to step inside because it sits as high as a normal sedan should. And there's no sloping roof line, so I don't have to worry about my head getting hit. The front seats, it cuts in, so I get a lot of leg room. I have about three, two and a half to three inches of leg space. Sitting straight up, I have about one inch of headroom. And there's a lot of space left to right. You can fit three adults back here comfortably, a bunch of kids or a bunch of clowns. I just want to say thank you to Mercedes-Benz of Los Angeles and Raphael for lending me their overachiever, the 2021 Mercedes-Benz E350 for the day. If you're looking for a luxury used car, a new Mercedes-Benz or a certified Mercedes-Benz, just come on down here, check out the website, give Raphael a call, give him an opportunity to win your business. His information and the link is located in the description below. And by the way, please hit that like, subscribe and notification button below. They love seeing those, it helps me get cars like the E350 and all these to review for you. The driver will be super comfortable sitting in these 10-way adjustable seats. They're slightly bolstered so it won't leave you with aches like some of his competitor seats. They're leatherette, but you or your guests won't know it. The three-dimensional flow of this interior is more than a visual achievement. The technology, contrasting colors, the choices of materials, and craftsmanship has its competitors scratching their heads because they can't get their interior as high-tech, plush, and luxurious like this at this price point. If you know someone who's bought a new E-Class, this is why. It's a haven of luxury and elegance. Standard with no extra charge are two 12.3 inch high resolution, fully customizable screens with the MBUX infotainment system. I love the new design and the functions of this steering wheel. You can virtually control everything and anything without taking your hands off. On the left side of the steering wheel, you have a sensor that customizes each section of the display and also has adaptive cruise control with your distance setting. That's your paddle shifter, blinker, windshield wiper, headlights, and emergency brake. On the right side of the steering wheel, you have a sensor to control the infotainment system, volume, and your phone. And that star actually turns off the display. Behind that is a paddle shifter, your PRND, and your start your engine button. You can control this display screen by touch, the center on the steering wheel, or the touch pad. You get six air vents, and this is real wood that doesn't have an extra cost. There are your signature aluminum piano air controls. Below that are your one-touch buttons to your phone, media, and performance. You get a wireless charger with a USB-C, two cup holders, no ashtray. Below that is your performance lever, volume roller, camera, auto start stop engine, and self parking button. Yes, I said this car parks itself. I'll share that experience in an upcoming video. The left sensor controls each column of the display. The first column can be a speedometer, clock, and range. Each section can be redundant, but there's a reason to this madness. It's so you can put what you feel is valuable information on the screen in front of you while you drive. 
This infotainment system is state-of-the-art and super high-tech. You can control almost every part of the vehicle from this system. There are so many sub-menus in each category so you really have to be patient when scrolling through. But you have to go through it because there are so many things, so many fun things you can find here. For example, if you're not sure where the perfect seating and steering wheel position should be, let the MBUX infotainment system figure it out for you. Just scroll to your height and let the car do its thing. If you get tired of seeing the same display and color, you can change it. There are four different designs to choose from. To top it off, you can choose from nine different languages. German, English, Spanish, French, Italian, Portuguese, I'm not quite sure and I'm not really sure but those last two look the same. One thing worth noting is that this has a panoramic roof for only $1,000 which I highly recommend. It adds a lot of light and makes the car seem a little more roomy. The back window even comes with an automatic roller blind as well. Now for the fun part, let's take the 2021 Mercedes-Benz E350, that Mercedes-Benz of LA, and Rafael led me for the day for a spin. This 2.0 liter engine has been around since the 2012 C250. Mercedes-Benz has always been improving on the reliability and power year over year and I finally seen it being almost perfected in the latest C-Class and now the E-Class. I didn't like the 2012 C250 because there was a bunch of turbo lag. You were better off getting the V6 at that time. Now today Mercedes-Benz has improved on the turbos, the engineering of this 2.0 liter engine. And it's remarkable. You guys got to test it, take it for a test drive because you will virtually feel no turbo lag. This is an amazing engine that has more power and more reliability. I've had the E350 for a day now and I know why people are buying the 2021 E350s now. It's really incredible. The E350 is more than sufficient enough to impress your friends, families, and neighbors. The E-Classes have the luxury and design for the most part are all the same unless you upgrade to the AMG. The main distinction between the E450 that I reviewed and this one is just the engine. If you need more power, not necessarily more agility, get the E450. Otherwise, just stay with this E350 and save about $10,000 or more. Let's do it. This E-Class is quick. It's not going to win races, but it's not about that. It's about delivering luxury, technology, comfort, then performance. For everyday driving as a realtor, banker, someone who's successful, this is more than sufficient. It's really smooth and super quiet. The seats are more on the sporty side, but the bolstering gives you comfort. I highly recommend this 2021 Mercedes-Benz E350. So there you go, the luxurious, immaculate, outstanding, and overachiever, the 2021 Mercedes-Benz E350. I enjoyed making the video for you. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like, subscribe, and notification button below. I'm Randy. See ya.